today I have another Eid makeup tutorial. I feel like I'm going all out on these Eid makeup tutorials for you guys. We have been suggesting so many cool looks, so I will have some more next week. And I've been having so much fun creating these looks for you. Today's one is the more natural, toned down look that was requested by so many of you. So this is what I come, came up with. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to first use the Body Shop Skin Defense, which is SPF 50. And then for moisturiser, I'm going to use the Garnier Moisture Balm. So I have used the uh, Nip and Fab Concealer under my eyes and blended it all out. And, and then I'm going to set it in with the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. Next I'm going to set my whole face with this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 250. I'm so happy I've got a drugstore powder now. But with this one, um, you just need a little bit because it's a bit heavier than my MAC Mineralize one. Not gonna slip my nose. This powder is meant for normal to oily skin, as it says on the packaging, but it works fine if you just use it lightly. I have dry skin, but I think it's okay. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the 17 bronzer in medium. This bronzer is really nice if you just want like a really, really, really soft bronzer. But it is buildable, which I'm going to do because I like my bronzer. Then for blusher, I'm going to use one of my favourites at the moment. It's the Primark blush in Miscavado. It's so funny if you look at my older, older videos, I never really used to wear blush. And now it's kind of like I'm obsessed with it. Can you just see how like that instantly brightens the face? And I swear, like when you put powder, you don't even need a much. It like helps blending all your products so much easier. Can you see like how diffused it is? It's just not like any line or anything. <sighs> I'm getting so annoyed at those doors. Then for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Topshop highlighter in Horizon. I really like to do the temples as well. Under the brow bone, and the bridge of the nose. So that's the skin done really. I am gonna set my face with the Nip and Fab Primer Water. Might as well because we are using the foundation and concealer and I've been loving this spray. I've already used so much of it. Oh. literally sprayed it everywhere i think that's one of the downsides to that spray definitely like it just spits at you the the spray is not a soft spray definitely and like i've literally got it all over everywhere once it dries it's like so good on the skin just blending all these creases out my eyes for my eyes i'm going to use the zoeva cocoa blends eyeshadow palette and i'm going to first use this color here to just set my base just lightly just gonna set where I blend the most. So I wanna go super simple on the eyes. I'm just gonna add a bit of color in the crease. So I'm gonna use this shade right here, which is called Substitute for Love. I haven't really used this palette in forever, so I really wanted to incorporate it in this in this tutorial. always take like a fluffy brush and just blend the edges out 
Then I'm going to take one of my favourite colours from the palette, which is this colour right here. It's called Pure Ganache. Look how pigmented that is. And that's not even like wet with a spray or anything. I feel like this will go with anything apart, if, apart from if you're wearing like a silver embroidered outfit or something like that. In which case you can just substitute for a silver colour. Then I'm going to go in with this colour right here. This colour is called Beans Are White, which is such a weird name. But I'm just going to like really smoke the liner here. Do you guys see a difference? I feel like it just... It just does that to the eye, you know? I'm gonna curl my lashes. I'm gonna use a bit of some Lash Sensational Mascara in Intense Black. It's like something bugging my eye, but I don't know what the hell it is. On the lower lash line, I'm going to apply some more Substitute Love for Love. Substitute for Love? This, this highlighter is actually more like cool tone rather than a warm tone highlighter, which I usually don't go for. But it gives a nice, like, sheen, not sparkly sheen to the cheeks. Then for lashes, I'm going to use these lashes from Classy Lashes. These are in... Anita. The lash glue that I like to use is this Revlon clear one. So I'm just going to let that dry for a bit and I'm just going to go in with Beans and White again but really close to the lash line just on the outer corner. Then I'm going to just put some mascara. I got some mascara on my face, which is so annoying. Onto the lips, I'm going to use this New Look Lip Pencil in Toffee. Then I just filled my lips in a bit and then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Lipstick in Nude Embrace. That's nice. And then just for a bit of shine, I thought just for this look, I thought I'd put some of the L'Oreal gloss on top in the shade Cream. Just on the centre. Because it is quite pale. For me at least. And that's it. That's the finished look guys. It's very natural, simple. I mean this is natural for me. I think, and plus for Eid, you want a little something something, you know? If you guys do like this makeup tutorial and you did enjoy it, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video. It means so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!